Have you ever been door knocked by a politician? It's one of the more peculiar features of the political process at all levels that those of us who seek public office get out there and knock on people's doors to persuade them to vote for us or just as part of being a representative. I've door knocked thousands of people over the years in union elections for other candidates and of course in my own electorate of Melbourne and I do it not just to win support but also as a way of connecting with people, as a way of understanding what's going on and finding out what people are thinking. Now there's lots of pitfalls with door knocking as you can imagine. Yes, I have been bitten by a dog. Many years ago I was bitten by an Alsatian. You could perhaps say that I was asking for it because I was wearing thongs at the time. And you perhaps might ask how effective I was in winning votes for the Labor Party door knocking people wearing thongs, but uh, I was young and green. Uh, one of the big problems with dogs uh, is that sometimes they tend to escape and so if you're the cause of somebody's little fox terrier escaping or something, then uh, that can be a major problem, particularly if they end up getting hit by a car. So I've had numerous instances of having to chase dogs up and down streets and round the corner or whatever to try and get them back after they've been uh, unfortunately able to run free as a result of me knocking on the door. Weather's also a pretty big issue. I've door knocked in pouring rain. Uh, a couple of years ago I did it in Canning Street in North Carlton and my umbrella packed up and so I ended up on people's doorsteps uh, looking a bit like a drowned rat. I've also done it in 40 degree heat where you tend to look like a bit uh, of a drowned rat too. And there's all sorts of occupational hazards that you've got to worry about. Shift workers, so you might be knocking on somebody's door at three o'clock on a Saturday afternoon and uh, discover you've woken somebody up and they can be pretty grumpy. Uh, parents with babies, you can wake the babies up or they can be crying and whatever, so you can have all sorts of problems in that regard. Flats, which I get a lot of in my electorate, are a bit of a problem. Uh, there's nothing more silly than standing at one of those banks of intercoms in the modern blocks of flats, because you can't get in, of course, pressing a buzzer and sort of bending down low and saying uh, to somebody who's up on the eighth story or whatever, oh look, I'm the local federal member of parliament, I'm just here to uh, introduce myself, whatever, because invariably the person concerned won't bother to come down and so you end up with a half-baked chat through this intercom looking rather stupid. Over the years I've had all sorts of wacky experiences when I've been door knocking, I've been asked to help people fix their cars. They clearly don't know much about my lack of mechanical skills. I've been asked to help paint fences and move ladders and move furniture. Uh, I've even been invited into a few parties and sometimes uh, you kind of get the feeling that uh, as the stripper gram didn't arrive, the politician, the local MP will have to do instead. So you have to put on a bit of a show for the assembled multitude, usually of whom have had far too much to drink and therefore tend to be either belligerent or uh, uh, very amused. I've even played the piano a few times for people because I do play and uh, sometimes there's been little kids who are just learning or having a lesson or uh, mum's trying to persuade them to take it up and so I end up uh, going in and playing the piano for a bit. Sometimes people at your door knock are happy to see you. They feel that this is pretty amazing. The local federal member of parliament's come and knocked on their door and they seem to imply that, you know, I've deliberately gone out just to knock on their door and don't quite understand that I've gone along one side of their street and then down the other. And at the other end of the spectrum you get people who complain because it's taking you too long to get there. So I've had people, for example, when I've knocked on their door say, you've been in the parliament for 10 years and this is the first time you've knocked on my door. To which my response, as politely as I can muster, is, well, there are about 60,000 households in my electorate and given that I can only door knock at certain times, like after work and on weekends in the afternoon, given of course that I've got my day job to do, actually representing people, uh, it'll take me decades to get round to them all. So yes, it's taken me 10 years. Well, unfortunately, when you've got 60,000 households, that's just the way it goes. One of the funny things about being a Member of Parliament is that you tend to bump into virtually every person you've ever met in your entire life. And door knocking is one of the ways that that happens. Uh, usually it's really good, but every now and then it can be a bit embarrassing and you sort of think, oh God, I hope you don't remember that particular incident X years ago when I was in the front bar of the pub and whatever, I'll leave the rest up to your imagination. It kind of, I think, is probably a bit like speed dating. Not that I've ever done speed dating, but it can be pretty exhausting because what you're doing is talking to lots of people uh, and lots of different people very quickly. So you're having conversations that might only last two minutes, three minutes. And then within a minute, you're on somebody else's doorstep talking to a completely different person. So it probably is a bit like speed dating. So once you've done it for about three or four hours, you can be pretty exhausted. 
because you're concentrating so hard and you're trying to uh, absorb lots of different bits of information and make a good impression and so on. So I find after three or four hours I'm, I'm usually a bit kind of frazzled and I find it's a good idea to knock off, otherwise I start garbling the words and getting a bit confused. The great thing about door knocking is that it enables you as a representative to be in touch with people in your electorate who don't write to newspapers, who don't ring up talkback radio, who don't email their MP and it gives you a much better impression of what's actually going on out there. It gives you a much better idea of what people are thinking, what their concerns are, how they regard current issues and whether they even know about them. So I'm a big fan of door knocking. It's labour intensive, it's got its pitfalls, its traps, its risks. Uh, as I've indicated, but it's a really important part of the political process. So for any would-be councillor or member of parliament or union official or anybody who aspires to any kind of representative role in an organisation or a political process, get out and door knock. It's the best way to meet the people that you've got a responsibility to represent.